Elephants might not be native to Salt Lake City, but a small herd has called this place home for more than 100 years. But as Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree explains, Hogel Zoo is now finding a new home for the animals. Elephants are pretty incredible animals, and it is going to be sad to think about them not being in Salt Lake City any longer. Visitors come from all over the state to meet Christy and Zuri. Elephants are in every children's animal book, and we practice making the sound, And but seeing them in person is like they're larger than life. The Hogel Zoo announced Tuesday it will be pausing its elephant care, moving the mother and daughter to another accredited U.S. zoo. Zuri really has a limited window for her to go and, and have her first offspring, so there is an urgency to this move. Liz Larson says 13-year-old Zuri needs to be at a zoo that has male elephants while she's in her prime reproductive years. Their populations are declining. Approximately 100 elephants are killed every day. Elephants are very social animals and they live in extended families. So it's really in the best interest of Zuri and Christy, their well-being, that they have an opportunity to grow their own family. Although Utahns are sad to lose the elephants, they understand why they need to find a new home. It's kind of disappointing just because the kids love to see them and it's something that they don't get to see in real life very often. But ultimately, if it's best for the animals, I'm happy to see them have that best thing. Larson says the zoo should know where the elephants will be going by this fall. So you have all summer to say goodbye to Christy and Zuri. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah. Hogel Zoo is still working on its master plan, which includes deciding whether ele elephants will one day return.